welcome to our channel Tech Geek and today we will see how to fetch data from a website using Java. This is also called web scraping and in many of the cases you will find an API to get the data from a website but in most of the cases in real world scenario you won't get any API. So in that case you have to make our uh, own application that can extract the data from a website. So let's start. In today's example, we are going to fetch the top 50 movie list, the top rated movie list of IMDb using our application. Okay. So I have already created a project. This is a class. So before starting, you, you will require a library called JSOUP in order to scrape the web data. So in that case, just uh, import the library, add external jar this org.jsub library you will require. I will provide the download link in the description below. So let's import it. So that's it. You are done with the setup. Okay, there are a few steps you need to follow. The first thing is we need to open the source code of the web page and find the element that holds our record information. Right. So this is the list and inspect element. See, so this anchor tag is holding the information. And this anchor tag comes under this div element with a class name info. So we will go step by step. First we will extract the div element with class name info and then we will come to the anchor tag that is holding our required information. So first we will extract this and then the anchor tag. Okay. So this is the connection URL, connection of the web page. So in that case, we need to give this website URL here. So this is the basic syntax to get the connection. If you see here, I have used user agent because in most of the cases the website is intelligent enough and they identify that the request is coming from uh, a non-browser application. So that's why to fake it we have used this user agent that will tell the website that the request is coming from a web browser only. So in that case you won't fetch, uh, find any difficulty to connect to the website. So let's So in this statement, we are fetching all the div elements with a tag uh, with a class name info. Since it's a class name, we have used dot here. In case of ID, if you want to fetch an element with ID, then then you should use a hash or pound sign. Okay. So as you can see, we have our movie list that is holding all the uh, div elements and from this movie list, we are fetching all the tag elements with the tag name A. Okay. So div elements via that, we are going to the tag name A. 
and this text specifies to get the data within the tag name so this is the tag and the text will fetch this information that is written within the tag element so that's why this text is added here okay so let's execute so as you can see here we have the movie list downloaded in our application itself okay so this way you can fetch the data from a website for more details about this select command go to the jsup tutorial uh, in their official website and you will find various of uh, commands that can fetch elements as per your needs okay so thanks for watching happy learning